As the COVID-19 pandemic sets in and approvals of vaccines being flaunted as the answer to being an end eventually to the global pandemic, Grenada's Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell assured the nation that vaccination will not be made mandatory. However, during recent announcements, he hinted that with a disappointing turnout for people willing to take the COVID-19 vaccine, AstraZeneca, especially within the health sector, the possibility of making the vaccine mandatory existed. In his address to the nation last Thursday, he reminded the nation that vaccination holds the key to any possible return to normal life. Pretty soon, the PM hinted, workers at quarantine facilities will be approached to take the vaccine. Here in Grenada, to help protect our frontline workers, all accommodation facilities providing quarantine for inbound travelers will be required to have all the staff vaccinated soon. Many Grenadians remain skeptical about taking the vaccine for varying reasons. With more pressure being applied for people to take the injection and the possibility of having to choose between the vaccine and their job, President of the Public Workers Union, Brian Grimes, believes individuals' rights should be respected. The vaccine situation is very sensitive. Um, all of us have taken vaccines in our life, um, but what should never ever be negated is the right of the human being to say, I will or I will not. If we have abrogated those rights, we are entering dangerous territory. Um, so it's something um, we in the movement we are looking at carefully, even at the TUC level, and we'll observe as we go on. We understand the need for health, for the protection of the population, but sacrosanct is the right of the worker and the right of the human being to say, I will or I will not. The PM added that some countries are already identifying vaccination as an entry requirement for visitors, as well as some airlines are making vaccination mandatory for travelers. And as the cruise industry prepares to sail again, some cruise lines are already outlining vaccination requirements for both passengers and crew. Christina John, GBN News.